right, friends and neighbors. Hey, it's time for another networking video. This time we're going to take Packet Tracer and build and then configure our first topology. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, as you remember, I get it down here to the lower left. Grab myself a switch. And all that I'm going to do with this particular topology is put a couple of PCs out there. So that's what we're going to do. And then, of course, we're going to have to interconnect them. So we'll use the fast Ethernet interfaces. We'll go low in the range. And one of the things about, whoops, one of the things about connections like this, right, I'm sort of weighing this. Now, if you had instructions, that might work just fine. But if you were going to do this, you know, as part of a design, you might actually draw a picture or draw a topology of what you want to do beforehand. In addition, one of the things that I like to think about, hey, let's, let's pause here for a sec. You see how these are uh, sort of amber circles and they're coming up slowly? That's showing us actual switch operation. What we're looking at there is the switch ports pausing for something called spanning tree before the ports go forward. And we'll see that they go forwarding in the order that I connected them. And you can sort of set your watch by this. It takes 30 seconds for this to happen. So there we go. So now the topology is all up and running. But what I also want to talk about is the organization of your diagrams. It just to help you, whoops, uh, just to help you sort of figure out where things are. If you think about, you know, where your connections are going to be beforehand, you know, it's really easy to see what's going on later on. There's port one, port two, and port three, so I sort of know where they are and I know what I wanted to do beforehand. Okay, so in this particular topology, right, we just have three devices connected to this center node, which is, of course, a switch. And when you want to configure things, you just click on the device and we can see that we have a bunch of tabs here in the top. Now we'll go through a couple of these over the next series of videos, but the, really the one that we want is the config. And we can see that we have a couple of things to configure here. The first thing that I'm gonna do is grab my fast ethernet interface, because what I have to do is grab a, um, an IP address, or give it an IP address. I don't have a DHCP server in this topology, so I need to give it a static address. Another thing that's worth paying attention to, maybe even labeling a diagram with, is this particular MAC address. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put that in there later on. Now let's see, what's a good network to use? Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's go with uh, one that I always like to use when I'm doing demonstrations like this. Now if I just hit tab, because this is a class C network, and we'll talk more about those later on, I get this network mask automatically. And I know that that's my IP address. I'm gonna grab this MAC address. I'm just gonna copy it. And so what I'm going to do, well, let's actually do this other global setting. Now, in this particular topology, I'm not going to need a gateway, but I would go ahead and put one in anyway. And I like to make my gateways high in the range. So there we have it. So now if I make a note over this machine, right, I could say this is this, and there's my MAC address that goes along with that particular host. Let's go down here to this other host. Whoops. Now if I hit the escape key, there we go. I get back to my pointer, right? Um, and because they're connected to a switch, that's a layer two device. And so we all need to be on the same IP network. So we'll give this one, a, make this one a dot two. We'll copy this guy here too. I'm going to go over to my global settings, give myself a gateway. Now, even if you don't always need a gateway, sometimes it's a good practice to get into uh, just to make sure that you have a, a complete configuration. So I'll add a note here again. There we are. And let's finish our last PC. Terrific. There we go. And then, of course, our gateway. Now, as you notice from the, the 
the topology, the gateway is not actually present. It would actually be a router. We'll add another note. I like to add these because um, if I want to test something and I want to know where the devices are that I'm, that I'm testing. Okay. Now let's look at one of the things that we regularly see on on a um, on a PC. We use this in testing all the time. And maybe what I'll do is grab all of this stuff and move it over here. Whoops! There we go. And we'll bring this guy back. Okay. So we used the configuration tab last time. But what we're going to do now is if we take a look at some of the other tabs, oh my goodness, we've got all these applications. Now the one that we really want is this one right here because we're networking people. And we want to be able to see if our network is operating. So in here, I can issue commands like IP config, right? Up arrow, I can do IP config slash all. Oops. There we go. Uh, and gives me the information, a lot of which I've, I've put, you know, I've already put over here, but I also in includes my gateway, things of that sort. Later on, whoops, we'll need other commands from our command window, like route print to see, oh, I forgot. It's not implemented in Packet Tracer. Um, we'll, we'll need a couple of other commands that was one that's not implemented, but one that is implemented that we're going to have to use quite a bit here is the ping command. Now, ping is a great diagnostic tool, so I'll start by pinging myself, and that just tells me that this node is configured and ready to go. I can ping a number of other things, but in this topology, really what I want to know is, can I touch the other devices? There we go. And then, of course, the other one. Now I can do the same thing from these other devices, right? Remember, all that I did was go over here, grab one of the tabs, and we'll ping the other way now. All right, now the last thing that I'll show you before we, we sort of shut down this particular video is that I can grab these network devices too. Now remember, this is, all of the devices here are essentially Cisco uh, devices. They're virtual devices, but they're running an image file as if they were a real network device. So they have a configuration, right? I can go in here and do the configuration in the same way that I did on the hosts. We're not going to do that hardly ever because we're going to use the command line interface, which is what you will have if you're sitting in the lab or if you're sitting on an actual device. And we can see that this is a switch, and there's my prompt that tells me it's a switch. And I can get to the, uh, the CLI. I can see that I've got all kinds of commands associated with the, uh, the executive level. And then, of course, enable gets me to, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> oops, spelling counts, config gets me to the next level. And we can see that now that I'm in the configuration, and this is where we'd actually start to build a running configuration for the switch. So the network devices can also be opened up, and you can run them as if you were sitting right in front of an actual device. I think that'll do it for this particular video. Uh, with the next video, we'll come back and we'll actually fool around with the switch and take a look at some, some actual traffic. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening and may your packets always reach their destinations.